Hello Collective, welcome back to the platform. Thank you for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibration or energy. All evil and negative plans of your enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled, past, present, future, immediately and permanently. Anything your enemies have stolen from you, tried to steal from you, they are returned to you. Past, present, future, immediately and permanently. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is fine. No. Let's go ahead and get into our terror read. Okay. So there's an organization. We're going to call it an organization having a meeting behind the scenes because something backfired horribly. A lot of crying going on, a lot of emotions. There could be a queen of wands crying a lot behind the scenes, a queen of pent queen of pentacles, queen of swords. There's a whole lot of emotions going on. This would be maybe like the three or four scrooges that got together to get crafty with spell work, even though they were supposed to leave something alone. Um, Anyways, these people are having a meeting on how they can approach something now because they've done a lot behind the scenes. They've came up with a lot of tactics. What these people do is try to dismantle people's lives so they can force them into coats and covings and all kinds of stuff. Things that you don't even have awareness of and don't know that you are joining because they're going to come in and fluff it up and make it look like it's something that's worth your time. But you don't know you are binding yourself to these people for many lifetimes, okay? And a lot of you, you watch terror, terror readings and things like that and you don't understand that practitioners are here, like terror readers, we are here to help you so you can see things from a different perspective so that you're not just out here eager to accept offers from people because a lot of the times these 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 uh, um uh institutions secret societies is what the word was that was going to come out these secret societies have very crafty ways of giving you these offers and you don't know and you think you are making new friends you're uh being given some type of genuine offer it's not what these people do is uh, uh dismantle you from behind the scenes so that by the time you find out what it is they're doing it's too late there's an organization that's been plotting on a earth angel, right? They've tried to get you caught up in some type of S scandal. They've tried to get you caught up in some type of imprisonment. They've tried to set you up in a lot of different ways. Some of you, they were trying to set you up where someone will break into your home. They will uh, beat you bloody. And this was, uh, this would be after someone had like violated your honor and things like that, right? Um, and then they will be recording it while it's going on. And then after the D is done, it's like they come back to tell you that they own you now or something like that. Because whoever was going to come in to dishonor you has some type of illness they were going to pass on to you. There's something like that I picked up on. But there's something where these people are having a meeting. They may be wanting to send some type of energy into you to talk to you and things like that. Give you some type of message. I don't know what this message has to do with. Maybe it's a group of people in here now that are changing their mind about some type of battle. After these people don't took everything from you because well, they're not successful with, with whatever it is they were trying to do to you. They don't have foresight of what it is that's going on with you behind closed doors. They may be trying to get you to come out, trying to invite you to things and places sending someone towards you to give you some type of offer and it's not a genuine offer there's some type of misleading offer someone is being sent to give you be very cautious this is the new plan okay be very cautious if you accept an offer from this person it's not going to be successful there's, there's something devious behind why this person wants to connect with you it's going to leave you crying and things like that there's a queen of wands in here queen of pentacles going through a lot of emotions behind the scenes because there's something that has backfired horribly on these two but they're still stubborn and want to keep going instead of going within and seeing the truth about a matter let them keep going. By the time this war is over, it's going to be strange fruits hanging from the tree. It's going to be like the bottle missing its friends because they won't be there to drink anymore. People's luxurious lifestyle, their mansions and stuff they're living in will turn into uh, prison cells. Like people, whatever this organization is, it's about to be dismantled. 
This is like an organization within an organization. And wherever this organization is that is within an organization, it's dismantled. By the time it's done, people are going to be locked up. People are going to be homeless. People are going to be walking away. It's like the old me is dead and gone. It's what they're about to be saying. Like people don't understand what it is they're a part of, but they're about to understand. Someone may have passed away or someone is passing away. So you may be receiving some type of message because there's someone in here that's very stubborn. Don't want to give up. That's okay. Let them keep going. Let them keep going. They're the ones that stand to lose more than you do. There's a reason why some of you, you haven't received your abundance yet. That's because the universe, your ancestors are protecting it. So some type of war is over. When it's over with this specific group that you are up against, then you get your abundance. They can't touch it because you won't even be around them. You won't be around them. There's something where it was planned for someone to communicate with you. You were supposed to go out to meet with them. They're going to present themselves as a healer, right? You were supposed to come out of your home. They were supposed to meet with you, but this meeting never happened. This meeting never happened. It's like they were waiting for you to come out. They were waiting to see you so they could give you some type of offer and say, hey, we, uh, do you want to go here or this go? This happens, this is going on, we want you to come. Something really frivolous, something really stupid and immature. It never happened. So now they don't even know how to approach you. They don't know, like they don't have a plan. They're meeting, but they don't have a good plan, a logical plan. Okay? They're going through losses behind the scenes. People are walking away and more people will keep uh, walking away because people are trapped in their mind. This is a whole family that's fighting behind the scenes. We'll be having to move on. Okay. They thought it was a joke at first. Something used to be funny for a group of people because they've gotten away with it so many times. This is how they've trapped a lot of people in this nonsense. This is how they've trapped a lot of people in this nonsense, right? Ending people's destinies. Taking options away from people. If you're supposed to re receive some type of offer, they go in and do something and you can't receive it. They, like they've been killing people's futures. The very people in these coasts and covings don't even know the very people they're working with are the ones blocking their destinies. You, you can't make this stuff up. So a lot of you, you get online and watch terror readings and don't realize that we're teaching you something. To help guide your lives. You think you're just on here watching videos and things like that. You need to listen to what it is we're telling you. Because we're trying to protect you and guide you in life. Like heed the words of wisdom or something. But there's a coat out here. COVID out here. There's uh, bent over heels, right? Trying to destroy a light worker. They said we just need to get her out of, the, out of her home. We just need to get him out of his home. That way we can interfere with their, their ability to see. We can interfere with their sight. They don't want you having foresight of what it is they're planning, their actions, because there's something where you are so in tune with the universe, with this page of cups out here. Whatever move these people are planning, you already know before they even start. So it's pissing them off because you you're like 10 steps ahead of, of, of these people. 10 steps ahead. So it's like they're trying to catch up. Some of you, you were placed in institutions. To study them, watch them, how they operate. So they didn't even know your ancestors were giving you a head start on a whole war. So now it's like they're trying to play catch up. But you know every piece in the on the chessboard because, well, you know all of them. You know how they move, how they talk, how, what kind of energy they're in. And I'm telling you the God's honest truth. You know how these people move. Like their emotions, their mental, how they operate. You know everything. This is how you know what it is they're trying to do or what they're planning before they even plan it. Some of these people don't know. You all were placed in their organizations, in their lives ahead of time. So that you will be ready for some type of battle or war with them. This is a whole battle. If there's not a source out here, this is a whole battle going on. But you and your ancestors have a head start. So some of you were working in institutions or were in communities where you were rejected and you felt, oh, nobody, they don't want to talk to me or whatever. F that. Nobody cares. You were there for a reason. Did you learn what you were supposed to learn when you were there? Now that you're out of there and this war is going on, hey, guess what? <laughs> you got a head start on your enemies. This is why their plans are failures. They're living in fear because, well, you keep telling the truth. You'll know the truth. You know that they are going through losses, remorse. They've lost a lot. 
Someone may have passed away. And this is ensuring your victory. You keep investing in yourself. You will have your ten of pentacles. There's a whole family here going through a tower. Money falling apart. Money, resources depleting. And it's going to keep depleting until this is over. But someone is still committed to keep going. So we're going to let them keep being committed to keep destroying themselves. We are not complaining. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're not complaining. Stay committed. Stay committed while you're crying, while you're burdened behind the scenes. Stay committed because this Queen of Cups, you're coming after. Oh, they got options, baby. They got options when it comes to the universe. They want, the universe wants you all to know this person got options. Okay? Always thinking on their feet. They got options. This is a whole Queen of Cups they're coming after. It could be a man or a woman in his, king, in his uh, king, Queen of Cups energy. But the universe wants you to know. They got options. They're trying to uh, uh, restrict you from having options, whether this is in love. Yeah, they don't want you having, I'm telling you, they don't want you having options. They want you way down in burden. Because this is what, this gives them the, the, the right opportunity to come in and give you some type of ridiculous offer that's going to have you trapped with them. These people rejected you before. They rejected you. But now that they've come to know who it is you are, Starsea, oh, we want them to join us. That's forbidden. You're not meant to be part of this institution. It'll never be permitted by the universe. So since these kind of institutions, communities don't know how to play fair, let's amp it up for them. All of your protection spells that you've put in place are dismantled. They're powerless, past, person, and future. And the entities you summon to help you, they are forbidding from helping you. And a, a, a practitioner that works with you, they're cursed for life. Can't help you. All of your evil plans, past, persons, and futures against these light workers, star seeds, are dismantled permanently. And the energy, any negative energy you put into the atmosphere, return to you immediately, permanently. Okay, all evil and negative plans of the enemies against these light workers are dismantled. They are returned to you all immediately and permanently. Mote. No one is allowed to help you all. No entity you summon, no spell work will ever work. They're all backfiring and being returned to you all immediately. I'm telling you. Got options. I'm telling you, Queen of Cups got options. Didn't I just show you all those two cards? And I shuffled the deck and they came out together. They don't know your options, Queen of Cups. They don't know. This is what they were trying to restrict. They were trying to restrict you from having options. They were also trying to restrict you, block you from being able to see what it is they're planning on planning for you. You know, they're sending some reckless energy into come talk to you. Give you some type of superficial, immature love offer because that's how these kind of energies are immature as heck. They don't have foresight of the future. They don't. They're. They don't even. They're not even able to plan correctly on how to do anything in their organization so the organizations can thrive. But they're more focused on taking energies down that are not paying them any mind. Why? Because they effed around and found out that you are actually genuine. You're actually gifted. They're coming after a practitioner. Is what I'm seeing. You're a, you, you could be a empress, a emperor, hierophant, star C, a high priestess energy. Extremely powerful. And they don't understand how it is. Listen, there you go right there. How it is everything they're sending you. All these death spells, sickness spells, everything. You're still standing your ground. How are you doing it? It's what they want to know. Because no one has ever survived it. You should be in this energy. You shouldn't be able to see clearly, receive your downloads. You shouldn't be able to do anything. You should be tired, not, not wanting to get up and work, not wanting to get up and study, not wanting to get up and do anything. You should be worn out. You should be stuck in your mind. But you ain't stuck in your mind. You're out here telling the truth about these people's malicious plan. They're going to have to move on. This entire family will have to move on. So the ones, the ones that are still trying to stay 
and said, no, we got to keep going. I'm going to keep going to the end. That's okay. Keep going. Keep going. About to be strange fruits hanging from the trees. That's all I got to say. It's about to be people locked up. Poverty is the road that lies ahead. All these calamities will pass before a kingdom can be uh, taken down. Calamities. All of these calamities will come to pass before a kingdom is taken down, is destroyed for good. It will not be recovering. Queen of Swords, this is your future. This is your future. Why are you out here crying, embarrassed, not wanting to be seen? There's a Queen of Swords. Since you all call yourself family, because this is what I keep hearing you all saying that you're family. You may want to check on your family, the Queen of Swords, because she's thinking about doing stuff to herself. That's all I'm going to say. Go check on her. That's all the help you're going to get from me. Go check on her. Go check on her. Right, your family, right? What you're fighting about? Ain't you family? What you're fighting about? Oh, because justice is being brought into the situation? Oh. It's a whole family out here fighting. Because this high, this star sea is, bringing, is calling justice. You didn't know who you were coming after. And this is the part that never makes sense to me in spirituality when it comes to dark worker. You never know who you're coming after. You see people because you said they're not awake here. You can go and attack them. Why? That means you're hindering people's free will. So that means a lot of the people in your institution don't even they didn't even join those join that institution of their free will. We're setting them free. If you were misled into joining a coven, you are free to go. Your ancestors are going to, uh, in the universe, are going to do it in a way where you'll be free to go out of there and they can't do nothing to you. This institution has been manipulating people, getting them to join into things that they don't even know the repercussions of. So this is like institutions come into people's lives before they know who they are, before you know you're a light worker, before you know you're gifted, before you know you're a star seed. They'll come into your life and get you bonded to contracts and things like that. Whole time you think you're joining something worth your while, not knowing you're binding yourself to these people and you got to keep incarnating lifetime after lifetime to fulfill a contract that can never really be fulfilled. That's what you all don't know. Whatever you are binding yourself to, it's impossible to fulfill. They said what is a lifelong contract. What is lifelong? Because we incarnate some of us have been incarnating for thousands of years. So what is a lifetime? Is it for your entire existence? Is it for your entire existence? So you need to ask these people, what is a lifetime? What do you mean when you say a lifetime? Some of you, your exes don't offer you up as a sacrifice to, to covens. They can't fulfill the bargain because you're not meant to be part of that. This is you here up in the upright. You're not meant to be a sacrifice to the devil. So now the piper is here to collect. And he or she cannot fulfill their end of the bargain. So guess who's behind on the line? Theirs. That don't got nothing to do with you. It's a queen of king of cups from somebody's past. That offer them up as a sacrifice. He cannot hand you over as a sacrifice. So he's the sacrifice. He's going to have to fulfill that end of that bargain. And we don't care how it is to go about getting what it is he promised from them. But all we know is this star C here, this light worker here ain't one of yours. So I can't, you, you cannot, will not have them. So whoever made that offer to you, oh, I have a light worker. I have a star C. I have an earth angel. I would like to offer up. He said it. She, he didn't agree to it. <laughs> so Whoever offer them to you is going to have to figure out how to fulfill their end of the contract. But it don't got nothing to do with this person. What you're all going to do, what you're all going to stop doing is forcing people's wills, manipulating contracts and things like that, manipulating people's wills. People don't, if they don't knowingly agree to something, they don't understand it 100%, you're not holding it against them. You're not forcing them into covens anymore. It's over. This is what you all are afraid of people knowing that you're manipulating them into signing themselves away for lifetimes because it ain't just this lifetime. It ain't just this lifetime. 
I'm telling you, it's not just this lifetime. It's an endless cycle. Every time you incarnate, every new rebirth, you're freaking attached. So it's a new world order. Well, you look at that. It's a new world order. It's a new world order. You cannot keep forcing people into this madness because you're insecure and don't want to heal. You want to stay living in darkness. You stay living in darkness over there, but stop blocking people's futures and, for and forcing them into things they don't want to be a part of and things they don't know about, they don't understand. How can something be legit if you have to manipulate people into it? How can something be legit if you got to manipulate people into it? And then you're out here making false promises to people. It's a queen of swords in a community that don't promise people so much money. It ain't no money. I keep telling you all, there's no money. It's false promises. It's like they set up something where it's like, hey, if we can take this person out, we're going to get a lot of money. You ain't getting no money because this person is not being on a live. You don't call justice in this person's life. As you can see, the justice came after them. So they are the spiritual judge. They are the ones that makes the decision. You don't have any authority. So you can charge in all you want towards them. You don't have any authority to make judgment in their life. They call the justice. And the justice, the judgment is that this group, this COVID, this institution is dismantled. Final. So we don't care how you disperse from this institution, whether you keep staying there till you get locked up, that's your business. You want to go and let the old you die and have a new birth, new life, new beginning, that's your business. But this institution is over. This COVID is over. This toxic family dynamic is over. The truth is being seen about you all. The truth is being seen about you all. Strange, strange fruits will hang from the trees. The bottle will miss its companion. The penthouse will become a cell, a prison cell. I'm telling you, it will become a prison cell. Someone is going to go to prison and they're worried. But you got someone in here too that's worried about some type of love offer. Nobody wants a love offer from you all in this group. I don't know. How, like, what is wrong with you people's mental? How can you be coming after someone that sees it all? And you still want to come in and force some type of love offer. For, come on. Come on. You can get all the family members you want to call and tell them, oh, you know, I heard he's really nice. Well, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. You got people probably going to call you and say, if a man asks you out, you, you should say yes because they're in on it. Because they're in on it. I'm telling you, they're in on it. Look at that. Whoever you're coming for, they're moving on. For some of you, it's, a, it's about to get so bad in these covens that they're going to be asking you to leave their cities. Leave their towns. Leave their countries. It's a no, 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 no. It's dangerous having you here. We need you to leave. We won't fool with you anymore. We won't bother you anymore. Okay, we'll leave you alone. But if you can just please leave. Because whatever system they have in place is falling apart. It's falling apart. Because they came after the wrong one. I'm telling you, it's falling apart. It's feeling. There's a queen of pentacles. Baby, I don't know what's about to happen to you. I know, but I ain't going to say it. Good luck. Good luck. You may want to go through some type of rebirth. He being out here thinking you being greedy is going to lead to something. It ain't leading to nothing for you. It ain't leading to nothing for you. <laughs> These people are out here fighting because something is being balanced out. It's a whole star seat in the upright. Like, I don't know if they're finding out that someone is a spiritual judge. And that's the thing. Some of what I'm hearing is some of these people, they've been doing magic for a long time. And they don't even know about the, the specifics, the rules, or maybe they don't care about the rules. They just feel like, oh, you know what? I've been doing magic for 50 years. I can do what I want. I'm a high-ranking official in my community. I can do what I want. That's your community. What about the rest of the globe? What about the rest of the cosmos? I'm telling you, that's, that's your community. What about everywhere else? You're just going to disregard the rules when it comes to everyone else? So because you have your little pack here and they, they say, oh, yeah, that's our spiritual leader. 
then you're legit. You can do whatever you want, right? You can cause all the still missing people's lives and try to block the truth from coming out because this is what you all do. This is all you know how to do is to block the truth. It's to block the truth. You can't win against people uh, uh, fairly. So what do you do? You do a lot of manipulations. Tell a lot of lies. Be as toxic as possible. Because that's the only way you can win. If the battle was square, fair and square, you wouldn't win. You wouldn't win. Because you don't got no spiritual gifts. These are people that always got to go to other parties. They got to go to practitioners to help them. But they call themselves gifted. Yeah, they, they got to go to dark practitioners to help them. Cause what? Blockages and still makes endings in people's lives. So that they can actually be successful. But they want to say that they're powerful. They're only powerful because what? They got people. And the people they have don't even know what it is they're part, a part of. Cause some of the, cause some a lot of them, not some of them, a lot of them were tricked into being into this mad, this madness, and then so a lot of them they started very young with this page of cups out here. They don't know what it is they're partaking in, but because they've been in it for so long, they think they actually stand for something that's in the upright. It's not, so they don't even know what it is they're standing up for, but they're gonna keep doing it because that's all they know. They've been told this is the family. We stick by the family. We're committed to the family to the ends of time. You're loyal to your family. We operate on principle, but they don't. It's all lies. We work as a team. They don't. It's all lies. We do what's right. They don't. It's all lies. It's all a facade. It's all a facade. They're planning on how they can send someone in to deceive you. Listen, you want to minimize your losses, you may want to stop doing something. You may want to stop doing something. You've been stealing from someone. I don't know who's coming in to offer money to someone. We don't want your money. We don't want no gifts from you, no positions from you, nothing. We don't want to work with you. Leave us alone. I don't know how, how hard that is. I think I said this in a reading not too long ago, maybe a couple of days ago. We don't want nothing from you or someone is coming in to offer you some money or some type of gift. We don't want nothing from you all. Not a billion dollar check, not a, a, a dream job position, nothing. Because these are two uh, uh, energies that cannot come together. These are two entities that cannot come together. These are two worlds that cannot come together because why your intentions for the other side is not good. It's not pure. I can see if someone was in the dark and they actually had good intentions or some type of intentions to heal, to balance themselves out. And they want to come uh, be with a, a spiritual judge, a light worker. But no, whatever gift they're coming towards you with, whatever money they're coming towards you with is cursed. If you touch it, it's to get you back into some type of karmic cycle with them. It's not something that's blessed. So you don't need anything from these people. All they're doing is trying to figure out a new way to get you back into a karmic cycle. I'm telling you, all they're trying to do is get you back into a karmic cycle, possibly with a king of wands, with an ego larger than this planet. Even he's not able to stroke his ego enough. So thread with caution. They're just coming in to interfere with karma, justice, things going in the forward for you because these people know you are ridiculously abundant. So they want to keep you trapped so they can put an end to your wealth, your abundance, your future, your forward movement. They want to put an end to the possibilities of you fulfilling your purpose because you are what? A threat to the kingdom of Satan, whatever they call it. The kingdom of the devil, the kingdom of darkness. Let's just call it the kingdom of darkness because the devil is just an energy. Anyone can embody that energy. So it could be a man, a woman, or it that's embodying the energy of the devil. Okay? You cannot partner up with these people. So whatever it is they're coming in to give you is rejected. It's not permitted. It's forbidden by the spirit realm. It's forbidden. You got a whole COVID meeting on how they can take... I'm telling you, if you accept anything from these people, it's done. It's done. They're going through endings themselves. 
So they want to come in and have you join something or accept something so it can what? You can feel like you're investing into something abundant. It's not abundant. It's going to lead to nothing but, but, but uh, sorrows for you. Worries. So they're planning their new way on how to attack you. The plotting. They say, we've done this. It didn't work. We've done this. It didn't work. We've done this. Let's try this. They're back at the drawing board. And they're going to go for it. They're going to send a king of cups into you. And he ain't coming in to do nothing but cause still mates. He's coming in to play his role because they know you are an actual empress and you are stupendously protected by the universe and you are committed to your calling and it has them trapped in their mind. This communication they want to send you, baby, they're trying to, they're trying to send you communications, right? It, they're, they're trapped in their mind about that. How are you going to see this person was, see, was sending you? And when he comes, you're going to see the truth because this is someone that's going to come in as a friend. They may even be sending a feminine energy towards you. This is possibly someone you saw as a friend before. You want friends enough to care what it is this person has to say. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, they are coming up with plans. At the end of the day, they're going to have to move on. You're going to have to move on. Going to call it truce. You got people in here, emperors crying or losing their temper or going through a lot of emotions and things like that because they believe an illusion. So they want to put an end to this cycle because they are disappointed on what it is they partook in. Whatever the return on investment is that they are getting out of this situation is not what they wanted. The burden is too much. So all they can do is watch you knowing that what they snuck you, tried to defeat you. To ensure a victory for themselves. If you're a higher fan in an institution and you're in the upright, be cautious. Thread with caution because these people could be wanting to turn on you or something like that. Thread with caution. If you're the leader of the community, you need to put them in check before they go haywire. Because it looks like your people don't have any limitations or boundaries on who they'll come after. I'm telling you. They don't have any limitations. Mm -mm. They don't have any limitations. They don't have foresight of where you're going. They don't have foresight of nothing. Nothing. They don't know what you're doing. Whatever action someone was planning is a failure. This whole group. It said they were hoping to get success. Like someone was hoping to run into you while you were out and about. Is that, oh, he's going to go to the market on Tuesday. We should go to the market on Tuesday. Oh, she's going to go get her hair done on Wednesday. We should go get our hair done on Wednesday. Just so they can run into you. It, nah. All they're doing is taking some type of trip so they can try to defeat you. Because they said, we've defeated everybody else. We have to defeat this person. Or we need this person part of our institution. Because we'll make a lot of money. I'm telling you, these people know you're very abundant. You see here, you don't went from the nine of pentacles by yourself to the ten of pentacles with whoever you're supposed to be with. And it's not anyone in this institution. I don't care if it's old or new to you. It ain't anyone from this institution. At all, at all. So what they're doing now is paying someone to come in. Someone just is karmic. Someone that's going to come in that he's been groomed on how to present himself to you. This is what she likes. This is how you should talk, how you should carry yourself. And you're going to see right through it. You're going to see right through it. It's like rejected. And it's going to leave them wondering, oh, what do I tell them when I go back? She rejected me. She saw right through me. Uh, yeah, because the spirit realm don't tell this woman or this man who it is you are before you came towards them. And they don't already told this person who their actual wish fulfillment is. So that's why they're holding back from you because they know who their actual empress is. So you're going to have to move on. And these, the empress, the empress and the emperor, honey, mm -hmm. they will be meeting. So it don't matter what it is you all plan to do. There's something where I think a group of men got together because I saw this in a dream. 
they are waiting for you to go to, I don't know, it's like a work location or something. And then some other energy is going to pop up mysteriously with help. And they're going to, they're going to uh, uh, attack a feminine energy. And he's, this is like, I don't know if it's like a boss or someone is going to be there talking about, should I, should I interfere? No, nah, I don't want to interfere. I should probably not interfere. And the whole time he's there and he's seeing what it is they're doing to you. And he's going to act like he didn't know anything about it. This is how malicious people are. They probably pay him to act like he don't see nothing. This is how malicious these people are. But when things flip the other way around and they are at the receiving end, then they want us to be what? Understanding. You're BSing us. Nah. We don't have any remorse for you. You should have went in and thought about this when you were celebrating other people's downfall. So now it's their turn. Lucky for you, these kind of people, they don't celebrate people's downfall. We just sit back and watch it play out. We just sit back and watch it play out. There's a king of pentacles that's seeing the truth. This man is starting to go within. He said, like, wait, hold on. Mm -mm, I got to fall back from this. Let me step aside and think. I need to self-actualize. He's starting to see things from a higher perspective. Like He said, like, you know what? I need to back off, hands off, and see this from a whole different perspective. There's something I'm missing here. This whole organization is coming after one person. It's not making sense. They said she did something, he did something. But if he or she did it, why is it that every time they come after this person, it does not work out? Someone is starting to self-actualize. And he's finding out that it's an illusion. It's all based on a lie. That's why they're not successful at taking someone down. I'm telling you, this man is self-actualizing and he knows the truth. And this is why these people are relentlessly disappointed, endlessly disappointed in going through endings because they lie. They've been sneaking someone, stealing from someone. They're trying to steal someone's abundance, someone's favor, someone's gifts and things like that. So now he knows the truth. And he's confident that he knows that they've been trying to trap someone just to cause an ending in their life, to block them from having fulfillment, love, self-mastery, attunement, trying to block them from receiving love from a higher level soulmate. They say, you're going to be with one of the, one of the men in our uh, coven. Uh, no, they're not. This person has got nothing to do with your coven. More than likely, this person is really just here to dismantle their coven so that the people in there that's trapped can have freedom <clears throat> because they feel way down. That's all they're there for. They're not joining this institution. You see the institution in the reverse, right? <laughs> the five of pentacles has to do with institutions that are greedy as heck. Institution with selfish intentions and things like that. Like they know the people outside of them need assistance. They have the resources to help those, those people, but they won't do it. They brag from people. They pretend to be in the upright. This is, these are like religious institutions and things like that that pretend to be in the upright, like charities and things like that, but they ain't giving a dang thing to the community genuinely. Everything they do is checks and balances. At the end of the year, make sure you put this on our taxes so we can get it back. Nobody care about these people out here. We want our money. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. So this kind of person, because these kind of companies... Some of them will have other operations going on behind the scenes, i.e. covens, coats, and things like that. This kind of energy cannot be part of this. It'll be dismantled quicker than it was supposed to be in the first place. So you try to force this kind of energy into this stuff. Oh, baby, you you might as well just be verbally telling the universe, go ahead and dismantle my institution. I don't want it anymore. And they'll say, oh, as you wish. I'm telling you, as you wish. As you wish. Again, as you wish, your wish is granted. <laughs> Trying to force a horror earth angel, light workers into darkness. They said, we can use her gift. We can use his gift. If we have them part of our operation, we will make a whole lot of money. I know we used to want, we wanted to unalive them before, have them trapped and things like that. But I think it would be beneficial to work with this person. This person cannot work with you. They're not one of your own. Your master knows that. Your master knows that this person does not belong to him or her or it. 
It's never going to work. This is one of the energies you bring in an institution, like in a cult or something. And the experienced member of the, that cult get pissed off immediately. They look at you and like, what is she doing here? What is he doing here? Why did you bring them here? Because they already know the game is over. The game is over because you don't brought a whole ascended master into some t into something that they cannot be a part of. Like you're basically those experienced, those seasoned members, they feel like you betrayed us. Why would you bring this kind of energy amongst us? And you can't tell them, oh, I didn't know. You knew. You knew. You always know. When you meet this kind of energy, you always know. You always know. Ain't no way you meet a star scene and you don't know. Like there's something different. Because you've been surrounded by darkness your whole life. When light when your whole life, when light comes in, you know it's something different. Imagine yourself being in a dark room and you see a spark of light. You'll know immediately there's something about that thing you're seeing. You say it's not like everything else. Everything else is black around it. It's shiny, it's glowy. I want to touch it. It's so alluring. You knew they're having a meeting. There's an investigation going on. There's Queen of Wands. I don't know who you're meeting with. I don't know. These people are having a meeting. The family's having a meeting. I started this reading, talking about them having a meeting. There they go having a meeting. Which maybe we can give them an offer. Maybe we can give them some money to balance this out. Pay them to move away, go away. Because we're experiencing a lot of losses. And then you have an idiot in the background. No, I want to keep going. I can defeat them. You can't defeat this person. You're not meant to. You don't even understand what it is you're a part of. As far as this on a grander level. Destiny wise, you already lost this battle. And you lost the war too. You're under some type of illusion that you're going to win. Listen to the higher ups in your company or your institution. You're, they don't want no money. Whoever this is don't want no money from you. They don't want no money from you all. Because it's blood money. If it's not something that they, they don't want it. They don't want it. Talking about we can give them a gift. Coming from this kind of energy. No, I'm telling you, they're sending you a what? <laughs> a toxic king of cups. They're sending, they're sending you a king of cups. This is what I said earlier, right? There it goes. A toxic king of cups to give you an offer. But you already know what it is that he's doing. This thing, they don't find the cutest man in the world. He is just your type. And you cannot afford to resist him. Baby, it's a no. It's a no. He's supposed to come in, pour a lot of love into you. Give you that equal gift and take love reciprocity for a specific amount of time. And when that time passed, he's out. He said, okay, I don't got her knocked up. I'm out. Now she can't go nowhere. Nobody wants her. I'm out. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a disappointment. This whole COVID, baby, when I said they're going through it, they are going through it. People are all, people's emotions are all over the place. They ain't never been through this before. Someone is trying to figure out who the heck it is you are. They said, we don't cause you all these stalemates. I told you they want to keep going, right? That's okay. Let them keep going. They stand to lose more than you do. They stand to lose more than you do. They're the ones with the resources, as they call it. So they're going to keep losing it little by little until they find themselves in this state. In this state, and they cannot what refuse it anymore, refute it anymore, pretend like it's not happening anymore. So there's something where they're trying to keep something on a hush hush. That's cute. <laughs> they said, keep blocking them. I don't care how long it takes. We're gonna win. You're not, because your your mem members of your institutions are about to be falling like flies. Falling like flies. You may want to go within. Take a new direction. Because whoever this is, honey, fulfill in life. <laughs> Tell them, keep going. We're going to keep. They said they're committed. Keep going. We're not giving up. That's okay. Keep going. Keep going. 
Keep going. Keep going, family. <laughs> Every path you all take, trap. Why are, you, why are you all confused that this is still... I'm telling you, why are you still confused that this is still coming into manifestation? It's still a victory for the light workers. Ugh, it's exhausting. I, it has to be exhausting being on the dark side. Because like we spent five minutes in you all's energy and we're worn out. We're worn out. This queen of wands, this, this sister says she's going to keep plotting on how she can take someone down. She said, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep going. And she thinks she's going to have a victory. You went. <laughs> you went. You're receiving communication that the person you're coming after is still victorious. They're still moving on. I'm telling you, they're still moving on, still committed to their path, still being supported. <clears throat> and you're still out here doing rituals and lying. And you're still going to go for it to come in what and manipulate an empress. And I told you, it's rejected. You're going to be disappointed. How are you coming towards someone that already knows their destiny? You're like, this is why you, I see why you all come after people that don't know themselves. I see why. Because people that know themselves, they ain't going to partake in this. I see why you all manipulate people that don't know themselves. I see why. Because we should still manipulating people's free will. But I see why. Like you got to manipulate them. Before they awaken, because it's easy. This is like, it's kind of like with children, right? With this page of cups out here, it's easier to manipulate children than it is to manipulate older people. This is why these kind of groups, they come after younger people and people that are naive and not awakened yet. But they're trying to come after a whole ascended master, a healer, right? The healer don't already call justice in a situation. They don't already say everything you all invest in. It ain't going nowhere. So justice has been called on you all. Nothing you invest in is going anywhere. So you put a healer at a stalemate. Now you all are, are at a stalemate. Nothing you touch is going to thrive. Nothing. Your futures are blocked until you can undo what it is you've been doing. So this is a full-blown battle i guess a war nothing you touch is gonna thrive every last one of you your futures are on hold your futures are on hold there's people amongst you getting sick people passing away everything Why are people out here heartbroken? Because it's like they cause you blockages and your ancestors find a new way to get you out. They want to go in and trap someone or bring legal issues to someone to stop them from what? Having fulfillment. But they still are having fulfillment. They say, like, oh, if you take that path, if you go towards them, they're not going to be, it's not going to be successful. That's a lie. It's a victory. It's a victory. Someone could even be leaving an institution. There could be a masculine leaving an institution. What in the world is this madness? Is that, oh, we want to apologize to you. We didn't, we, nobody cares about any of that. Keep your apologies to yourself. I don't know if someone in here keeps saying that they don't want to compromise. That's okay, dear. Keep going. You stand to lose more than whoever this is. Keep going. Keep going. I told you, triumphant achievement, happiness for the star seeds. A sign, we got number nine, a sign of what good fortune. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> you say you don't want to compromise. You don't want to negotiate. That's okay. Keep going. When, by the time it's over, you won't even be able to afford to compromise or negotiate because you won't have nothing to your name. Nothing. The, 
whoever whoever this is, their ancestors are about to clear out your bank account, clear out your life, clear everything out spiritually and physically. You won't even have a pot to piss in. So keep yes, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> You're right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. <laughs> Ooh, you got a queen of cups out here feeling like a queen of wands. Betray her about the action she took to ensure herself some type of victory. That friendship is over. <laughs> that friendship is over. She said, I, I know I can take him down. I know I can take her down. They said, no, you shouldn't have done that. So now that queen of cups may be trying to minimize the loss. She said, I can't do this anymore. I'm out. Like you don't f you you f us up over real bad. I can't be friends with you anymore. This is a narcissist right here. This that's a narcissist. An absolute narcissist took some type of action. Thought she was gonna defeat another queen of wands. She said, "I don't know why they say you're beautiful. I don't know why they say you're this, you're that." So someone came into someone's energy physically. Cause she felt bold. She said, I can, I can do, I can take her down. So she may have came into someone's energy when she was not supposed to. Cause someone is a repeat offender when it comes to invading people's privacy and people's energy. And now she's going through some type of remorse behind the scenes on laws, everything. She had it all planned out. This is a false victory for her. Someone is, oh, she's crying behind the scenes. She's crying behind the scenes. So. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, this was her when she took this action. And it led to some type of conflict in this group. And they're going, baby, they're going through it. They're going through it. The emotions are all over the place. People are arguing and fighting. They, should we keep going? Should we not keep going? Someone said they want to keep going. That's okay. She's, what is it? He or she, whoever this is, they said they want to keep going. They ain't compromising. <laughs> That's okay. Don't compromise. You stand to lose more. <laughs> Ooh, you stand to lose more. What are you up? I, I think they may be communicating to a family or a couple to invest in this collaboration. I don't know if that family or couple is going to. They don't want to be part of this. And again, whatever offer you are coming in with, somebody don't want it. Because it's tinted. It's cursed. If it's done something genuine, don't come with it. <laughs> As a matter of fact, if it's cursed while you're coming along with it, you'll end up in an accident. <laughs> Collective, you're destined to be abundant. And this is the judgment by the spirit realm. This is part of the reason why a lot of you are here, the light workers. Call judgment in these situations. Master yourself. Call judgment. Because what these people do is take away people's free will. You don't know who you are. You're half asleep or you're all the way asleep and they come in with an offer. You accept it. Not knowing you're binding yourself to a contract, a lifelong contract. You don't know what lifelong means because... We tend to incarnate multiple times and things like that because we have lessons to learn until we can self-master ourselves, right? Until we can master ourselves, excuse me. And then the karmic cycle is over. And it's only a karmic cycle because you're repeating that incarnation process. You keep, re you keep incarnating. So that's what the karmic wheel is. Incarnating over and over until you learn the lessons you're meant to learn. So these people got a lot to learn. Some of you won't even be incarnating anymore in this lifetime because maybe you fulfill your purpose. You fulfill your contract when it comes to incarnating. So it's like they'll be here going through this. Some of you, your twin flames, they're stuck in this mess. They're stuck in here. They don't even, some of these men and women, they didn't even know when they met you, who you were and the uh, family members manipulated them into rejecting you now they found out that you're their twin flame their soulmate now they want to come back to you and they say oh no i'm good thank you i wish you well make sure you heal i hope you heal but i'm good so whatever this is 
members in this group want to keep going with, let them keep going. Because you know what? They stand to lose more in any setup. Because there's something where it's like there are people in here. This institution may have like mob ties, gang ties, whatever we want to call it. Uh, ties into the justice system and things like that. And they're plotting on how to bring legal issues to someone. It's not going to work. It's dismantled. There's something where a group is going to do and it's going to end up exposing them. They'll end up on the news. On the news. It's a front and center. Sally May, the whole company and institution, has had a COVID in this organization for 40 years. They've been doing this, 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 and this. Oh, the public is going to gasp and clutch their invisible pearls. They say, oh. I am appalled. If this is like a healthcare, my mom was in the hospital. My dad was in the hospital. I am appalled to find this out. And so, yeah, your mom was just a number. You remember how you went there and they were talking about, oh, we're family in here. We treat our, our residents, our clients, our patients, excuse me. We treat our patients as client, uh, 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 yeah, as, <laughs> as family. The family world don't even want to come out because it's, a, it's misleading. They're not telling the truth. They don't see those people as families. They see them as numbers. Nothing but numbers in the system, making them money. That's all they see them as. That so the public is going to be gasping and clutching their invisible pearls. So, I am appalled. No. Even Johnny. Is Johnny part of it? They say everybody is part of it, Lisa. Everybody. Even Johnny that used to come and clean mom's teeth every morning. Yes, he's part of it too. Dang. Dang, 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 dang. Yeah, this institution, I think they're paying someone. It could be a couple to send some type of message, uh, to, to take some type of action and go in towards a star sea and talk to them. Tell them, hey, would you like to go out? You want to go do this? Blah, 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 blah. There's something they're sending someone towards you to say so you can come out of, out of your home. You can come out of your comfort. You, you've been in hermit mode. They say you got to come out so they can get their claws on you. So we got a celebration going on at church. We would like to invite you. And then you go leave in your house. <laughs> and they do something. And now it's supposed to block your intuition. You're not supposed to see what it is they are doing. You don't know their plans and blah, 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 blah. And they're coming up with ways on how to cause you laws and everything. But it's like everything they do, your aunt, your ancestors keep balancing it. I say, yeah, she may have lost $10, but you know what? It's okay. We're going to give her $25. She may have lost $5,000. It's okay. We're going to give her $10,000. And she's still going to keep fighting. She's still going to have her victory. These people are crying. There's some something happened to someone in this institution Someone either passed away. Someone is really sick. There is a queen of swords. I think you guys need to check on that woman because it ain't looking good. That was one of the narcissists that wanted to keep going. She said, I'm committed to my family. This is for the family. It didn't know what she said. She said that to someone. This is for the family. I'm going to keep going. I'm committed to my family. Let's see how committed you are now. Anyways, folks. Collective, you're abundant. Let me do our oracle card. Mm. Well, nothing is a nothing is accidental. I picked it up and three fell. We got eight. It said your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions by representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. I am successful. It says, on your own, it's time to take some alone time or be single to get a new perspective. Spiritual retreat. Oh, some of you could be going on spiritual retreats and things like that. Don't be telling these people where you're going. Keep it to yourself. It may even be like a mental retreat. I do that. Sometimes I just lay back, imagine myself out in the woods and stuff, you know, meditating, 
getting that good old touch of nature and things like that. Yeah, go on a spiritual retreat. Whether it's physical or mental, go ahead and do that. It says you are enough. Maybe some of you feel like you're not enough. You are. And maybe you think you, you're not able to fulfill your your life path, your purpose. You are. Source wouldn't have given it to you if you were not worthy of it. It's a progress, not perfection. It's okay to make mistakes. Growth is a journey. I'm telling you, growth is a journey. Healing is a journey. Take your time. There's no time limit, time span, or how long it takes to grow or heal is different for everybody. Do it at your own pace. Anyways, and you are on the right track. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in the next read. Goodbye for now.